Hey all you Let's Play fans, and welcome back to my LP of Castlevania, A Curse of Darkness. In the last episode, we started making our way through the Garbaldi Temple, and in this video, expect more of the same, so let's get to it then. The faster I can get this video done, the sooner I can get my ass taking a nap. Because I am really fucking tired. Oh, look at this, another fucking axe knight. Oh, he's dying! He's not really putting up much of a fight, is he? Fucking Pussmaster! Okay, so there's a few rooms that I didn't get to explore in the last video because I ran out of time. So let's go ahead and take care of those first before I move onwards with this place. Come on, Fisty! We got some exploring to do! Also, I've been getting some people asking me if I'm going to do the fight, or not the final boss. Of course I'm going to do the final boss. I mean the optional boss in this game. And yes, I'm going to. I don't know if I made that clear or not by saying I was going to get 100% uh, map completion in this game. But yes, I'm going to go ahead and take care of that optional boss. I've never fought him before, so it's going to be kind of interesting when I get to facing him. So I heard he can be kind of hard, and I've watched a few videos on how to take care of him. And a look, he looks rather simple as long as you follow an easy pattern. But who knows, it might be more difficult in practice. Okay, we got some ghosties in this room. I don't know if they infinitely spawn in this room or not. It just seems like there's a whole shitload of them in here. I guess if you want to uh, get evolution crystals for your innocent devils, this would be a pretty good room to do that. They seem to drop them quite frequently in here, and I think you get two evolution crystals every time you, uh, they drop one. Or every time they drop them. So, yeah, that might be kind of good. But I'm not in the market for doing that right now, because I still have some things uh, that he needs to learn in that current form he's in. Okay, so let's go ahead and go through this door. And what do you know, yet another fucking battle room. Like, I didn't see that coming. Yeah, this Garbaldi temple is almost as annoying as the House of Sacred Remains from... Look at him doing a fucking Russian dance there. That was badass. But this place is almost as annoying as the House of Sacred Remains back in Lament of Innocence. You fucking stop that? Ah, oh, I fucking hate those flea men. Okay, make sure we got this area cleared out, and that we do. So let's go ahead back towards that save room then. Go ahead and do my patented fast flipping technique to get through these. Actually, it's not patented. I've watched somebody else do them. <laughs> But it really helps, especially in rooms with flea men, like this uh, long hallway area. Because it makes you a lot harder to hit as well. Come on, Hector, flip, you son of a bitch! And through the doorway. Make our way back down, meow. But instead of going towards the save room, we're going to go ahead and go down this path in the center here. Come here, Mr. Axe Knight. Thank you for your magical ticket. <laughs> Not that I fucking need it, I think I'm maxed out right now. There we go. Bitch is taken down! And we'll head this way. We got two more Axe Knights to take care of. Armor Knights! God damn, I keep fucking up that name. They really need to change it to Axe Knight. I mean, god damn. I mean, I, at this point, I'm not even sure if there are Axe Knights in this game. I guess I'll find out later on. Ooh, we both got levels. Not too shabby. All right, I'm make him guard because there's a new enemy in here that we can steal an item from. This is the Dead Baron, I think his name is. I want him to charge at me. Come at me, bro. And steal from him. He got the Holy Man's Vein. Yeah, this is Dead Baron level 12. Oh, yeah! Fuck you! And we also got the Knight's Vein from him, too. Very neat! We can actually make some new weapons with that, I believe. Let's see... Uh, with two short swords and a Knight's Vein. I think that makes a two-handed sword, and I kind of don't like two-handed weapons, because they're really slow, and I always seem to get my ass kicked while using them. Let's see, Gunno and Steel. I might make that one, because I won't run across uh, those skeleton soldiers for quite a while. The ones that it dropped the steel. See, with the dung, holy man's vein, and knight's vein, I could make a new spear. But I would rather make me a helmet. So let's go ahead and do that. 
First we need a leather helmet. And there we go. What do we get? We get a Gaelic helmet. Sweet sauce right there. Let's go ahead and equip that. Adds two defense better. That's not too shabby, especially since I find myself to get my ass kicked quite often in this place. Loading screens to the max. So let's make our way this way first. It doesn't really fucking matter. You can go the other way if you want. This whole area is just one big square that loops in on itself. Uh, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Heck, you gonna give it to you. <laughs> yeah, that uh, attack right there where you throw out the sword like a boomerang. I've mentioned it several times, but that's one of my best attacks to do. Yeah, there we go. I got a holy man's vein from this guy, too. I'm gonna just have uh, Fisty guard because he seems to knock him over the edge, and then once that guy's over the edge, he won't come back up either. So it's really annoying. Because I want to steal that shit from him too and get the Knight's Veins. I think with the Knight's Veins I can make other things. I'm not too sure. I'll just hold on to him for now and try and figure out what I can do with him. Alright, took care of that Fenrir. Fenrir! Come at me, bro. Yeah, this guy, you just want to... When he does that charging move, you just meet him with a steal. And almost always you'll steal from him. He's a little bit easier to steal from than the Dead Baron, in my opinion. Because that Dead Baron's teleporting attack is... You have to dodge backwards and then steal at the right moment. So it can be a little bit confusing. Come on, Fisty, we got places to explore. Man, I'm just imagining that in Hector's voice, him saying that. Come on, Fisty! Ah! <laughs> okay, God, these fucking dogs are everywhere in here! Ah! Okay, we got another one of these dead assholes. Give me that shit. Give me that grip. But I'll take care of you. Yeah, there we go. Okay, what do we got going so far? We only got one more room to explore in this area. Let's get to it. See, I just need to come in here. Come in here really fast. And there we go. And I'm going to say fuck this room because I don't want to stick around. <laughs> Come on, Fisty! You don't have to fist everybody. And let's jump down here. Probably gonna jump down in the other room, but whatever. We'll just roll with it. Oh yeah, right in the ass, you see that? BAM! And let's go back this way. Yeah, I probably should have jumped down in here, but whatever. We'll get that shit fixed right now! Okay, in here, just to get it off the map. As you see, I don't want to go in there, because there's a lot of bad things that way. Okay, map says we're good in this area, so let's go. Oh, shit. Went through that door at just the right time. He's about to slice my ass open. That fucking donut puncher! And through this door. Come on, you goddamn loading screen. There we go, Jesus. Oh, yeah, Armor Knight. Oh, I should probably use this hip press. It's a lot stronger than the Aura Blast, but it doesn't seem like it uh, is as effective, even though it does more damage. Even though that sounds kind of weird and fucked up. <laughs> There we go. Now you notice this wall over here, that there's kind of like a... It's broken and it's raised up a little right there in the center. There's nothing we can do with that just yet. Yeah, you can see there's a small crack down there. But we will come back here later on. Much, much later on. So don't worry about it right now. Just remember that it's there. You can even use that uh, map marker that I picked up in the last video too. If that helps you out. I mean, it doesn't really help me out, because I just look at the fucking maps all the time anyways, and I have a map open right next to me. There we go. Got Go back this way just to take care of it really fast. Man, I blocked that shit. Ugh, fucking dead fence, I'm gonna take it out on you. <laughs> like Fishy just going to town on that guy. Bam! 
Alright, we just need to go in the center room and we're good. And there we go. Now let's get the fuck out of here. We can finally continue forward with this place. Back goddamn time. Flip, Hector, flip! Now once we go through this doorway, we're gonna run into a brand new monster. One of my least favorite ones in this area. You can pretty much guess where this is going. Yep, upgraded blaze uh, skeletons. These are blaze masters. You can actually steal a pretty good item from him, but it's rather hard to do. The conditions for it are kind of shitty. You either have to perfect guard one of his uh, attacks, which looks like a backflip, and you have to steal right away. It's usually to get him right up against a wall. Or I heard you can also uh, have your battle ID uppercut him into the air and you can steal from him then, but I'm not too sure about it. But if you're not looking to steal from him, they do drop a pretty good material called Ancient Memory. Hopefully you can pick up uh, some of them off these assholes here. Oh yeah, there we go. And we got another level. Damn! Fisty's gonna be all overpowered. Get more of those evil crystals. Oh shit. There's a lot of assholes in this room. Okay, got more evil crystals. Oh sh well, I don't know why I just paused there. <laughs> I kind of just like stopped what I was doing. Okay, we see there's another chest in here. So let's get out good old Navi. Need to upgrade Navi here soon too. Because I could definitely use her next form. What do we get? We get a ceremonial tool. Yeah, this is what you can steal from those blaze masters if you're lucky enough. It's pretty good material. You can make quite a good, uh, few good things with it. Let's see, what can we make with the ancient memory and wild memory? Oh, I can't remember what that makes. But with this, we can make a pretty good sword. So I'm going to go ahead and do that instead. Just let me check really fast to make sure I'm not going to miss out anything else. I only got one ancient memory? Ah, oh, damn. That kind of sucks. I was hoping I'd get more than that. What about armor? Yeah, let's make armor instead. It's much more important. And we'll go ahead and make this. We'll get the Atta. One of my favorite weapons for just because of the way it looks. There we go. Yeah, you see it's three uh, more powerful than uh, the other sword that we had on the broadsword. Let's see, and we have the Lorica. Another two defense. Nothing to complain about. Unless you like complaining, then you're a fucking asshole. And I'm gonna go ahead and leave out good old Navi for a little bit. Hopefully I won't need her too uh need my battle ID too much. Urgh. Fuck you, you blaze master. Oh yes, got a level. Cause I can definitely use more Evo crystals for my uh innocent devil here. Urgh, eat my Ada! Damn, these assholes keep popping up out of nowhere. Yeah, since we're getting a lot of hearts, go ahead and heal me up. There we go. And through the door. <laughs> and more loading screens! Dear God! Oh my god, there's a shitload of these Blaze Masters in here. Oh yeah, there we go. Ooh, another ancient memory. There we go. Oh shit. I had no idea there was wizards in here. You're a wizard, Harry! Ugh, fucking that shit up. Get over here, you cock rocket. Bam! Check that shit out. I don't even think I really got hit in that room. Though I probably did. Uh, let's see. I guess since I got another ancient memory, I can make this. Bamboo sword. whoop de fucking do Now, sometimes you'll make really shitty weapons, but the reason you still want to make them is you can make better weapons from them later on. So even if something appears to be useless, you can still uh, use it later on if you want to make a certain weapon with it. So let's make a Gano. And make this. There we are. 
Still not going to use those weapons quite yet. And there we go. Just wanted to make sure I had everything that I wanted to make out of the way. I think there was more of those Blaze Masters behind me, but I didn't want to fucking deal with them. Yeah! Come on, Nobby. Fucking level up already. I'd like to get my battle ID back. Thank you very much. Oh, come on. I stole from him. But for some reason, I didn't take damage either. Ooh, a save point. Definitely gonna utilize this, get everything restored, and move onwards. Oh yeah, you think so? You're gonna do that growling shit at me, you ass goblin? Oh, <laughs> and now you're dead. Bet you didn't wish you stepped up on Hector now! Okay, more wizards. I think there's a new enemy in this room too. If these fucking assholes would get over here so I can take care of them. Oh yeah, they're right there, the lesser demon. Now you can steal a really good material off him too, but you need to be kind of far away from him so he does a certain attack. Come on. He does this, like, whirling dive attack. Yeah, that right there. And you can steal a spirit of Fuji from him if you meet him with a steal. Ow. <laughs> now you can stop doing that shit because I don't want to deal with you. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, now you're down on my level. Fucker. Goddamn Fredo Bandito. Shit, just get over here already. Can't seem to hit this asshole for the life of me. There we go. God damn. So which way do we want to go first? Doesn't really fucking matter, so let's go this way. They both meet at the same point anyways. Oh shit, I didn't even see him there. Come on. Yeah, there we go. For the longest time, I... I uh, didn't steal that material from him, and I kept wondering why later on I didn't have it. Because he can make some pretty good stuff with it. I don't think I can make anything right now with it. Good fucking lord, I'm just getting my ass handed to me by this asshole. Come here! Can't see him because the damn camera keeps switching around on me. There we go! God damn! See, I think my Innocent Devil's almost at the right level. Er, with Evolution Crystals. Come on, do that dive again. I'm gonna steal as much of this shit as I can right now. That way I don't have to worry about it later on. Okay, get this off my map. Oh, I need to go through this doorway, actually. Let me guess. Nope. <laughs> Thank God, I didn't want it to lock on me. So I wanted to come back this way, and go the other way. <laughs> Fucking love doing the, those dodges to get around. Cause it looks funnier than shit. Uh, what the hell, I just st kinda stopped there again. Man, these lesser demons just, like, fucking my shit up. Alright, take care of Mr. Wizard here. Hopefully my controller isn't breaking, because they seem to not be doing one of my... the final attack. Ugh, yeah, there we go. God, fuck! <laughs> it's like I'm letting them hit me. <laughs> it's pissing me off, damn it! Alright, we're gonna go through this doorway. And we should meet up where we were heading with the last hallway that we were going through. Ugh, I don't think so, you bitch. Ah, oh, he dropped aluminum too. Not that I need that crap right now. I think I have more than enough aluminum to set me for a while. And this way we go. So we're doing pretty damn good on this map so far. I explored everywhere that I can go at the moment. Oh, we got new enemies in here. These assholes... You know, you can you can only steal, I think, 100 gold from them. And... They're not really worth it, in my opinion, to fight, even though I'm, I'm contradicting my own words and fighting them right now. Mainly because I can still use the experience and the evolution crystals if they drop them. There we go. And 
as if on cue, we're gonna change our innocent demo into a lethal, lethal injection. <laughs> oh, yay. Dropped a Knight's Vein. Not that I fucking need that crap. Let's see, I'll take a quick scan through my stuff again. Well, I could make a new punch weapon, but I hardly ever use that crap anyways. Let's see. There's our new form. And check this, uh, if you hit X when you're in this chart here, you can see if they learned all their abilities in this current form or not. I don't know if I showed that off. But you can see we have two abilities to learn in this current form. So I guess that's why you, it'd be good to turn off your crystals in case they're getting too close to getting a new uh, form and you still haven't gotten all their abilities in that current form yet. Then I can see that's why you'd want to turn off the evolution crystals. So I might go ahead and do that. I mean, the first time I was playing the game, I never did that, and that's probably why I sucked ass. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, I could definitely use something better than Heal 1, because getting healed for 20 HP isn't going to cut it right now. <laughs> you know what? Fuck you guys. I'm out of here. I want to deal with your shit. Might fight these assholes off screen later on. But I'd rather do more important stuff, like continue onwards! Yeah, you thought I wasn't going to say that this episode, did you? But I have to say that all the time, because that's my catchphrase. Okay, you see down there, we have a boss door. Ooh, ominous. So let's go in here first of all. Replenish my shit. And we'll save. Let's see, and... Should I register? Nah, we won't need to register it. So let's go ahead and save the game. We'll save in this spot here. Trying to be more efficient with my saves than I was in uh, Lament of Innocence. I had a shitload of saves everywhere. And I think I had like six different saves going for that one Let's Play. It's crazier than shit. Alright, we'll go ahead and leave out uh, the fairy. Because for this boss fight, I do not want to have my battle type out. He won't really do much except to get his ass kicked. So without further ado, let's see who awaits us on the other side of this door. Wait! That crest! Are you the Devil Forge Master? That whip, could he be? Answer me! Are you the Devil Forge Master? I am. Then this is the hour of your death. Oh shit! Oh god! This is Trevor! Oh damn, <laughs> I fucking elbowed him there. This is one of my favorite battles in the game because of the music and just how awesome the battle is all together. Doing fucking dodges and shit all around the room, it's just cool as hell. Now he has a pretty easy pattern that you can avoid. And then after yeah, he uh, he has an opening where you can attack him. You can usually get two sets of attacks off before he starts with his own again. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn, oh god. This music is... I take it back when I said that the Abandoned Castle music was my favorite music in the game. This is my fucking favorite music. I was listening to this uh, the other day trying to get pumped up to play this. Ugh. And it was just cool as shit listening to this music. Uh, I don't think so. My god, look how slow his health meter is going down. I'm gonna be here for a thousand fucking years. Uh. Yeah, what you think about that, Trevor? Yeah, Trevor's like, in my opinion, the most badass Belmont in the series so far. I mean, uh, Richter Belmont's pretty damn cool too, but he doesn't have awesome music like Trevor here does. Oh, uh, yeah! right in your back. And look at this, he's just taking all this shit like a pro, too. And I love his uh, neon green uh, whip, too. It, that's really fucking cool. Uh, I don't think so. I'm Hector. Can't touch this. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> yeah, when he does that dodge attack, you can't hit him. Oh, damn. Sometimes he'll do that, too, and just throw you off guard. Oh! 
On your oath, are you truly the Devil Forge Master? And if I am? For one that served under Dracula, you seem much too weak. It's been said that the Devil Forge Master's power rivals that of death. Ah, so you are hunting for Isaac as well, I see. As well? Then you're not... Wait... I recall there was another Devil Forge Master. They say he betrayed Dracula and forswore his powers, but that was three years ago during the war. Could he have survived? It cannot be. Believe what you like, but answer me this. Are you not Trevor Belmont, the one who defeated Lord Dracula? That I am, though I did not fight alone. There were many brave warriors beside me. And your name, sir? Hector. Hector. I shall remember that name. Yeah, and even though we were kicking ass in that fight, we somehow managed to get our ass kicked in this cutscene. Go figure, huh? So let's go ahead and heal up, and we'll head out this way. Got a little bit of time, so I might as well extend it just a tad. Okay, if we come down this way, we'll notice that we get a hey, another magical ticket. <laughs> Not that I can fucking use it, I'm really overloading with them right now anyways. You'll see we have another huge iron door right here, that, like the one that we saw earlier in the Baljet Mountains. Nothing we can do about that right now, but if we come in here, notice there's a special door right here. Let's go ahead and get out. Good old Mr. Fisty. Fisty, this way! What the fuck is that? Let's go ahead and stand in it then. What's going on? Hey, look, Fisty learned brute force. Yeah, that right there is like a forced learn skill. You got this new attack called brute force. And with that, you can uh, uppercut enemies. I think with that, if you use that against the Blaze Masters and uppercut them in the air, then you can steal from them. I'm not too sure. I haven't tried it. I just remember hearing something about that. Okay, so if you come over here with brute force and then tell Mr. Fisty to use it we can actually open up these doorways but we won't go in there just yet we'll save that for the next video so stay tuned for more Castlevania Curse of Darkness <laughs>